All right. So, Ryan, can you see my screen? There should be a, a browser here, and I'm looking at uh, the Google Cloud platform. Yeah, man, it looks good. Great. So, I've got a, uh, I've got, and you know, because this is a live demo and it's a 30 minute, <laughs> a 30 minute demo, I, I stood a few things up in place, uh, event in advance, so that we're not sitting around twiddling our thumbs as, uh, you know, Google GKE spins up a. Uh, and a cluster and, and we integrate into it. But I just wanted to show some highlights around both the way that we integrate as well as power in it and some things about the key factor command platform that allow you to mitigate some of the challenges uh, that you, you talked about there, Ryan. So here in uh, GKE, I've got a, a cluster spun up. It's you know the uh, my first cluster and I'm leveraging the standard bookstore uh, app that uh, that comes with uh, you know, the, the standard test deployment. And I've got this cluster deployed in GKE. And within the, with the, within the cloud shell, uh, you know, we've got a, uh, a repo to basically uh, install Istio, uh, integrate with the Kubernetes cluster, and integrate into and call into the key, a key factor command platform that I've got running. And the way we do this is, is completely via, you know, scripting and the, the key factor API. So, uh, there's additional pieces in place that, that we can leverage. So for instance, we are leveraging Cert Manager as well, and we've got uh, the key factor Acme server in place. I want to just talk about that really quickly because uh, it's another cool example of how we're able to integrate into these DevOps technologies with an Acme server. Normally, you know, clients leverage Acme scripts to call against, for instance, a Let's Encrypt, uh, you know, the Let's Encrypt CA and, and provision domain validated certs. Well, you can le leverage those same exact certs, point them to the key factor Acme server, and leverage a CA behind key factor command, um, and enroll for certificates from your private PKI or from another public CA like a Digicert or Entrust. Um, and provision those certs via the Acme scripting as well. And we're, we're actually leveraging some of the Acme scripting via Cert Manager uh, and the, uh, the Istio gateway. So uh, we've, got a, uh, we've got some install scripts. Um, we're able to spin up Istio, and, and I've done all this already, uh, so we don't have to sit around and wait. But, but what we do is we spin up a, uh, an app, uh, microservices, uh, spin up as well, and they communicate with each other, and they they need MTLs to communicate with each other, and we see that uh, from you know the Kubernetes uh, deployment, we spin up a, uh, a an app, a web app, right? And I've got a certificate here, and it is actually you know an Nginx certificate. Internally, the microservices are leveraging uh, certificates that have come out of uh, Istio and are and are using MTLs to talk to each other. Factor command. So in the background, we've run all this automation. And in the in the foreground, we've got key factor command here where all the commands are passing through. And you can see here that in the certificate search, uh, and this is a, you know, to sort of abstract this really quickly, we've got integration into certificate authorities behind key factor command. This is an enterprise grade certificate lifecycle management system that also gives you that full visibility into the certificates that are issued from uh, the Istio deployment. And you can see that there have been a series of um, certificates that have been issued. Uh, you're able to uh, populate data as, for instance, you may want to know, you know, cluster or pod or namespace services, uh, things like that. And this gives you that kind of visibility into certificates that you would be very hard pressed to find from standard Istio uh, deployment. In addition, we've uh, made a request to provision a web cert. Um, to place in front of that web app so that you could not only ensure that you're getting MTL certs issued to each of the microservices within Istio so that they can have trusted communication, but you're also a server to place as a, for ingress. Uh, so this is the kind of power that you get with using something like KeyFact, leveraging your, your certificate authorities, being able to place policy and workflow in front of it, uh, and, and be able to enforce that policy, be able to have control over your CAs and your, your PKI rather than spinning up self-signed CAs. Um, with the key factor command platform, you're able to report on expirations, report on you know, where issuance comes from. You're able to leverage metadata or X509 to be able to generate uh, lists uh, reporting around those certificates and find uh, accountability when you, when you start addressing auditing appliance needs. 
quick snapshot into key factor command. And obviously, uh, there's a lot of meat behind this demo. Uh, and, you know, happy to jump in. If, if anyone ever wants a deeper look into it, you know, please contact us. We'd be happy to really show you the, the you know, how the sausage is made. 